Today's show opens with classical music. As director of music of the Musical Society of Nigeria, that's Muson, Mr. Emeka Umokedi, walks us through the gray areas of the musical genre in Nigeria and more. That's on Spotlight. Do enjoy. Described as a man of music, Emeka Mwokedi has for many decades been at the forefront of promoting classical music genre in Nigeria. A celebrated multi-instrumentalist, Mwokedi is the director of music of the Musical Society of Nigeria and founder of the critically acclaimed Lagos City Choral. The exploits of the Lagos City Choral within and outside the shores of Nigeria led entertainment news on channel television to the man in his office. Thank you. Welcome to my office. To begin the conversation, Ngoke declares all grey areas surrounding the music genre in the country as he explains the basic requirements for making the type of music. It is an also um, academic exercise. You have to go from the rudiments, especially the kind of music we represent. You have to go from the rudiments, learn the basics of uh, even the theory of music before you go into the practical. So everything you have to do, you have to at least do some rudiments of music. His choreo group has performed the old classics, including those from Handel and Mozart. But more distinguishing, he has adopted some local folklores into the classical format. Classical music uh, is not a Western music super so because everybody, even Nigeria, has classical music. But it entails some seriousness, some determination, some putting effort to learn it if you want to do it properly. Now we can also bring classical Nigeria, um, classical music down to Nigeria. You can arrange any Nigerian music, even songs like Ishe Oluwa Kole Baje O, Ishe Oluwa Kole Baje O. You make it classical, you can score it for violins, for orchestra, for, and it becomes a typical. In addition, you can add um, percussion, Nigeria percussion instrument. That's why I told you that sometimes we think that classical music is Western. It is not Western. You can make you any music that has been formalized, it becomes a classical music. Any music that has been written down, arranged, it can be a music, a folk music from the remotest part of Nigeria. It has become Nigerian classical music. Music sphere is dominated by pop and hip-hop sounds, as is typical of many contemporary societies in the world. Even though Wokedi hopes to stick to his preferred music genre, he believes the time is ripe for collaborations with the pop culture and its music. Classical music entails seriousness. Like you talk about hip-hops, it's good. But most of them do not have time to really sit down and study music. 
if you want to go into classical music, you have to apply yourself to it. We can bring some popular musicians. The only thing is that they may have to do some uh, readjustment because in our own case, we need to arrange the music. We may have to write it down. Most of this music you hear is not written down. Is even if they, they write the words, they cannot score the music. So in our own case, if we have, have that kind of collaboration, it means that we have to sit down, write the music now, score it, so that next 10 years you are still singing the same thing. He has led the Lagos City Choral to many international stages and had returned with accolades and honors. There was a time I went to China, Beijing, China, for the Conference of International Society for Music Education. And I took music, uh, students from Muson there. And in China Convention Center, there are several halls. And each country uh, performs in different halls. Now, when words went around that um, Nigerian choir was around, after the first performance, the next series of performance once we are performing, people get out from the other halls to come and watch um, us perform. One, they love our costume. Some of them even want to buy a costume of our singers, the girls, the hairdos, and things like that. Two, our, 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 our music is uncommon. It's not what they hear every, every day, okay? It's accompanied with um, musical instruments. It's choreographed. So you're doing classical music, you're dancing, you're, uh, you're, you're playing um, traditional musical instruments and they enjoy it so much. A constant in all classical chorals is a wand-waving conductor who appears to give members direction on what to play. Many have suggested that in recent times that the role of a conductor is more ceremonial and for showmanship since the band must have rehearsed its performance severally before each show. Wokedi disagrees. It is not for demonstration. The, um, um, the conductor is the... Is the, is the is the one who directs the music. Every single movement in the music, every sound in music, he directs it because he hears all the parts, even when there is a big orchestra. He has gone through the music thoroughly. He knows every part of that music. He's the one who cues in, who brings, because um, different parts come in at different points. So at point, he has done the music that, oh, if it's the violin that will come in, he cues in the, at a, then he stops there, he brings in another one. When everybody has to come together, he knows. So uh, a conductor does a lot of, uh, a lot of work, um, even before the performance. The performance is the final thing. But before then, he would have rehearsed, he would have gone through the music several times. So he knows the music inside out. And he brings in everybody, stops everybody. A wrong move from him can cause, if it's not accurate, then you can or bring in a part wrongly, then there's going to be a problem. So he has to be accurate. Before the interview ended, a correspondent had an opportunity to express his elementary knowledge of the keys. <laughs>